Yo, what is going on guys? This is Roger and my brother Omar from OTR Gaming TV and we're about to do a video comparing features from The Crew 2 versus features from Test Drive Unlimited Solo Crown. Now, obviously the game ain't out yet but we're going to be comparing features that have already been out on the game compared to what we have now. So I'm going to let Omar kick it off because yeah, go on Yeah, I'm yeah, just here chilling, chilling, I am bro. bro. Yes, yes people, for me and Roger <laughs> here chilling doing it. Guys, who likes to drive around in their car and car games? I do. Pretty sure everyone's yeah. here, yeah. 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? I drive around in first person. So when I play Forza, more time I'm in first person. Because it's nice, it's just a nice atmosphere, you get me? Guys, I'm going to tell you things that I want to see in Solar Crown that are just not in other games, bro. Test drive, yeah, they're in test drive themselves. Yeah, but they're not in other yeah. games. They're in the second the one. Previous titles, you yeah. get me? So you got to remember that, guys. Uh, that game came out, what, 2012, 2011? So we're going to compare oh. features from a game that came out in 2012 to a game that came out in about 2018. You know, yeah, technically slash, 2020 now. The game's still coming out with updates, so... 19, yeah, yeah. so... Guys, imagine, imagine now, yeah, everyone, everyone knows in your car games, games, yeah, when you drive, drive around, around, you rev on me to work, you speed on me to whatever you want to call it, yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. you yeah. can probably yeah. see right now the car, like, it moves, yeah. you know, it all moves and yeah. shit, yeah, yeah. Exactly. the needles move, there you go. Guys, everyone knows that, but wouldn't it be cool if right now, yeah, imagine you're in a brand new 2020 car, on your screen, in front of you, you have a GPS system, there you go, you don't need no map. You can look at the GPS system that's right in front of you. Oh, that would be heavy done. And most cars nowadays have screens. So imagine, I don't know, they put a Tesla in the game and you got a big screen there. Yeah, your GPS is there. You don't need to look at the map. You can just cruise on your own. Exactly. Bro, that's what I'm feeling in these games, man. So let's compare that first feature you were saying, all right? GPS within a car game. Inside the car. So as you can see, I'm cruising right now in the Crew 2. My GPS is on a map externally on the car it's not even in the car it's external like um it's on the side of the map i'm cruising on my m4 right now and where this where the gps should be there's just the m sport screen right now i'm gonna tell them about what's in already in test drive but they've already got a gps system there you go you understand so i'm there like i said i wouldn't have to look at the map or even if they made the map external when i go into first person the map goes away from the screen at the bottom mm -hmm. Onto the screen there. But this is the oh, thing. This be? is the thing, guys. Look, the the map in the car in sorry the map in test drive is in every car. So if you have every a Fiat, car, yeah. right, the GPS, the screen. As long as the car has a screen, like I have now in my M4, there's a GPS in it. There's no need for external map. Yeah, you got external map in the game as well, but you can follow cruising in first person follow that gps within follow the gps passes. yeah there's no and she'll need talk for, to you and say to you no turn need. left turn right exactly there's no need for a um external map you get what i'm trying to say obviously you can have that feature but what we're trying to say is a game that came out in 2012 has a gps feature which to be honest what game has that right now like i don't know any game nothing game. nothing, Forza nothing. Ain't got it, right Kutu ain't got it neither we definitely ain't got it because he ain't going first person in there but you've got a game that came out in 2012 that's already have GPS inside of the car guys we need that in test drive on limited free now I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring out that feature guys they have to why because they have one to, to stay with the times time. they have yeah. to they were ahead of their times at that time so that's already one nil to test drive because we're comparing the features yeah. from test drive to the crew too bearing in mind the game ain't even out yet so we're comparing a game that came out ages ago now exactly almost already said it we want to have a GPS in the first thing but it's not there there's no GPS in any racing game right there now is it? Not inside, inside the car, not as a screen. The car. That's what we want. That's what we're talking about, guys. Inside the yeah. car. Like I'm showing you that screen. So anyway, right moving on. Guys, next feature I want to see is indicators. Uh oh. Indicators yeah. are very easy to put in the game. Like if when you turn, if you turn just a slight bit, that's fine. You'll turn. But if you fall lucky, indicators should automatically come on. Mm -hmm. It should flash on your car, it's a flash inside just like your car does. My car, it flashes on my bloody uh, wing mirror as well, it should do the same thing. Yeah, depending on what car you have, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly, but they should have indicators. I don't need to shout out on the mic. Oh, bro, I'm turning left. going left, exactly. How many times... You can see my indicator come on and I just turn. Everyone that plays with OTR Gaming TV knows, whenever we do car meets, how many times do we have to say we're going left? And because there's no indicators, bam, there's a whole collision of cars that's crashed behind us. Uh, that's one of the but things I think that's indicators should be in there. I know indicators are definitely not in the crew. They're not even in GTA. They're not people. even in Forza, bro. 
They're not even in Forza and Forza's no, a bad man game. Guys, there is no indicators in any racing game. You would think a racing game based on cars, it's all about cars, would have indicators. At least GTA but, has indicators yeah. for AI traffic. However, yeah. let's compare it back to the Test Drive Unlimited, which came out in 2012. Omar, does Test Drive have, <laughs> does test drive have indicators in the game? Yes, it does! You see? <laughs> you see? This is what I'm trying to say, guys. A game that came out in 2011, 12, whatever you want to call it, has indicators. We're in 2020 right now with all these updates coming out. Nope, you don't need indicators in this game. Why? Like, I'm going left now. This guy follow me. He don't know I'm going left. He has to wait for me to turn left. That's another, another, another what? Another point to test drive, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So that's two, two points. Two straight. Drive. Yo, it's killing it right now, guys. Right, let's keep it going. I know already. I know already as well, guys. Next point I want to make because I know we're in, in inside the car yeah. is the windows. I know the windows have been confirmed in um, the new test drive game, uh, Solar Prime. That they you can't open and close your windows. You know what From I mean? From the inside, guys. So you know in the crew. From the inside, yeah. yeah. In the crew too, you could do it from your apartment where you can open and close the window or like when you're buying a car. In test drive, whilst you're in the car, obviously I'm gonna show you the screen guys, whilst you're inside the car, you look at your window, you press a button, mm, window comes coming down. That little nice. features like that guys, no car games has right now. That's what makes nope. the game more real. Does Forza have that? Nope. Does nope. the crew two have that? Nope. nope. Does test drive have that? Mm. Yeah, Come on, baby. I'm never gonna yeah. answer it. <laughs> you have to say nope. <laughs> of course it does, bro. I'll show and you the screen, guys. Look at the new videos. One. There you go. But, bro, how mad would that be? Like, I'll pull up next to you. You put next to you. Put my window down. Save, save. The driver. Wait, wait. <laughs> and say what not. You know what I mean? Like, yo, open your window. You say something to you. And you hear me? Whisper it. <laughs> That's you know it. So, I mean? you know what I mean? Like, guys, again, so test drive so so two has that. <laughs> So we're yeah, expecting Test Drive 3 to have that too. I hope, I hope Test Drive 3 has it, man. That'd be wicked, no, bro. That I, I reckon mad. they will. Obviously, I'm not. Even like money. going to the extent if you got a convertible car, bro. In GTA, yes, you can put your roof down. This is the next point. But guys, imagine yeah. sitting inside your car, you can just turn, press the button, boom, roof comes down. You know, all this part of the service, you get me. But I know the windows are going to work, guys. Next point I want to make to you, which I thought to myself, you know what? I would love this in a car game. I would love this in a car game. Imagine, I'm driving, I stop, I put my car into reverse, my screen, my interactive screen that has my sat nav, now it turns around and it becomes a screen with a reverse camera. Ah oh, shit, ah oh, shit, how messy would that be? That would be sick guys. That would be a reverse cam, bro. That would be I don't need to press the opposite lock on the fucking R3 button yeah, and, look and look back, back, to, back to reverse and crash. Yeah. I can just look there, reverse back slowly. Boom. Imagine a reverse cam, people. That within would be the car. mad. Within the car, from Obviously, sitting yeah. in the car. You guys know, guys, what we're talking about. So on that screen again, with the M Sport screeners, instead of it being a GPS, when you go in the reverse, like Omar said, it becomes a reverse dash cam. Camera, yeah, That's reverse it. cam. Every car's equipped with it, it's just there, boom, happens. And we were talking about indicators two seconds ago, guys. Can you see? The AI has indicators. Look at that. Come on. Indicators, exactly. Windows, reverse cam. Imagine, like I said, though, yeah, the, the feature I want to point out the most, which they should do to make it more realistic, is if your car has a screen, it should be the GPS system. Yeah. And if you do put your car into reverse, to reverse back, you don't have to look at this and that. Boom, reverse cam. That would be, bro, that'd be next level. That would be, no car game has that right now. That'd be a nice No feature. car, no what car else, game guys? Let, let me point this out as well, yeah. On but PC, I, look, people are going to question this, Brian, right? right? On PC, people have modded it to do it. Yes, on, they have, so don't, on, on we're not on saying. Game, on every game, bro, there's loads of games where you can get mods to do like reverse yeah, cameras and this and that and all that crap. You get but me, like, farm and simulator right? and all that. Yeah. But we're talking about console, bro, exactly. So we're talking about like car games, PS4, bro. PS5. You know, the new Xbox, all that kind of stuff. They need to put these features in there to make it more realistic for people like us to play the game. I just imagine doing comments and I just kind of indicate left, bro. Like, oh, come there on. There you go. Nobody there can say, go. I never knew you was going left. I'm indicating <laughs> left, bro. Do you know what I mean? That's, That's what I'm saying. One, that, that'll be a nice little feature. And uh, going back to the screen, guys. So we talked about GPS and reverse cam. Imagine being able to change, like, play some tunes from the screen. So you know how cars, like, you know, you can touch the screen, go to tune, go to your media, MP3, whatever. Boom, play some songs within there. That's 
that's something I'm saying. I don't think it's gonna happen, but that's just something that would be nice. Just just to be able to play your own songs within the car. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd you know be I mean? good. That'd be nice. That would be good. Another feature, guys, they could even put in there, yeah, which is just popped into my head talking about all this, and I won't even lie, guys. This is why we freestyle it, why we just think of things on the spot, I'll tell you. Guys, imagine now, most cars have a heads-up display in their car. I know when you drive like an M5, you go past 60 miles an hour or 70 miles an hour, and a little screen pops up on your windscreen, and it tells you your, your speed and all that, like, it's mad, bro, trust me. I know what you're talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Imagine having Head that, like, stuff like that you're driving, cars. boom, it just pops up on your, wi on your actual windscreen, windscreen itself. Windscreen, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm. that'd be I'm mad, gonna find bro, footage of this guy, so what we're talking about now, I'm gonna find a little footage of it, like, real-life example of it. That'd be, that would be madness, bro. So that would be a nice Smelly. feature, like, we should, you know what we should do? We should these, the, we're gonna stick to the points that we're making now, and then we're gonna jump to the more points that we're gonna make on the game that could be added to the game later on. That's, that's what I'm what saying. So we're gonna stick to what we said. Indicators, GPS, reverse cam, windows, reverse windows. Cam. What else? Reverse cam, windows. So, yeah, four things. People know, guys. Like, if you've got, think of anything else you want us to make a video on, smash it out there, guys. Let us know. Hit the comment section. We want to know so we can make more content for you. I got a few more things lined up in my head. So yeah. we're gonna make another video yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. But we got whatever we things you want us to like, whatever question you have about the game, let us know. We'll research it and we'll make a video on it. If it's been done, meaning if it's been in the previous game and you don't know about it, we'll check it up and we'll make a video on it. Why not? Do you know what I mean? We didn't, we didn't know there was indicators in the game. We had to research yeah. that, right? Boom. That's the main exactly. thing. Like that's a small thing, guys. But what car game do you know has it? None, like at the moment, none, bro. Whatever you want to say. None, none. Of, no, none of them has a flipping. No, no car that I game that I know of has a GPS system that actually works. So if I put a waypoint now to Omar's house in the game, it will show me on the crew map right now. But in, the, in test drive, it will show me inside of the. As long as my car has that screen feature, it will have it in there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? The windows. I'm looking at my window right now. I ain't doing nothing. It's just a fancy window. To be honest, even my my wing mirrors are blurry. There's nothing in the crew to show. The wing mirrors are blurry. But looking at my window right now, I can't do nothing to the window. I can't, I can't put them down. Again, Test Drive has that already. That's from the previous game. That just proves, guys, that Test Drive is already ahead of the Crew 2 and the head Crew 2 has been out a later, in the later years. Yeah. It's that you can look at somebody's game and think, I'm going to make that. And then you, you, you add on to it. It looks like they've taken away stuff instead of adding stuff to it. Do you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Exactly. Like, but anyway, we're going to make more videos, guys. Oh my god, anything else to say, boy? We can wrap this up. That's, That's it, guys, bro. Mate, mate, all I'm saying is we need to get on this, people. Smash the comment section. Let us know if you like the video. Me and Ajay will be back with more content on Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crime. Don't watch that, people. Peace. There you go, guys. You heard the man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Any questions you have, drop it in the comment section. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!